Hey, this is the Great Lugia with part 10 of my Pokemon Region Adventures go through. And basically here, just checking doors, all that stuff. There's not really anything left here after last time. I haven't uploaded in a little bit. Basically the reason was yesterday I had a doctor's appointment. Then later I had to get some allergy shots. <coughs> Sorry. And basically, they had a bit of a side effect, got really exhausted. When I got home, I didn't really feel like narrating, and today I didn't feel up to narrating until now, so, yeah. And basically, you may notice this segment is a bit short, but a lot happens. So basically, I just save here, and then I start going up. First, I check the gym. There's a trainer. And here's your rival. Well, my rival. And basically, here's your second battle with him. I don't need your healing. I could beat you before, because I already healed, but even so, I could probably beat you anyways. So he leads off with a Bell Sprout, and I lead off with Charmeleon. Very good matchup. Ember won it KOs. And so Charmeleon is just so much better now that it's evolved. Granted, the only real problem is that it doesn't learn another a better fire move, because Ember is only like 40 base power. It doesn't learn Flamethrower until early 30s, which is a while. And he sends out Squirtle, which was... Oh yeah, it's level 13. For a sec, I thought it was like 16. Then I send out Kadabra, and it almost KOs, but it also gets confused from confusion. Uses Tackle. Does nothing. Then I just finish off with Thief for some reason. Hmm. And so, there's the rival. There's Hoenn. Got swept, uh, got b eat really badly. And he's just head out. And here I just get Kadabra in the lead because it's a water gym, so Charmeleon's pretty much screwed. And it noticed, you'll notice that it didn't say Hoenn was a winner. It must have meant that he lost his battle. So he obviously didn't win on his first time. And there's only one trainer here. Turned up the menu by accident. And basically, here is this guy. I forget what he has. It's been a while since I recorded this. Oh yeah, start you. I sent out Kadabra, use Confusion. It won a KOs because Kadabra is awesome. Gets a good amount of experience. I had the potential to defeat you. Don't you mean I defeated you? Because if you said I had the potential to defeat you, that makes it sound like I could have won but didn't. But I did win. Really. Really win. Not just barely, I mean I really won. And so, just healing Kadabra and Charmeleon just to be safe. And the vid is pretty short this time, so I'll it'll just fill up some extra time for me to talk. So go back in the gym. And here I save just in case. I heard this guy was a bit difficult if you start with Charmeleon. But turns out it's not, at least for me. I saved even though I beat him on the first time. My name is Cockman. I like the water types. And if you don't, then screw you. Not the best Cartman impression, but whatever. Tired. Leads off with a horsey. I lead off with Kadabra. I use Confusion and... Wanna KO. That was the easy part. Next, he has a 
Pokemon that's kind of difficult, Vaporeon. This thing has a ton of HP. And also, really good. This thing has really high special defense and really high HP. And it uses Tail Whip there for some reason. And my own case, they used Potion in the very beginning. I mean, I get it if you're low HP, but in the beginning? I've never seen a CPU player do that. And I just use Confusion again. Then again, and it actually uses Bite. Which does a fair amount of damage, but thankfully, because it was too stupid using Tail Whip, I get the KO. And that's Carpman. Very easy. I also heard recently that there's actually a Region Adventures X where the Pokemon are a lot tougher. Normally I might want to do that, but I don't think that would be the best thing to do for recorded playthroughs because or go-throughs. Because basically, I've done really hard hacks. They're not the best, not because they're not fun, but because you spend so much time grinding. And nobody wants to watch grinding. And I'm a certified trainer now. I won. Eat it, Hoenn. Okay, not much else happens in this video now. Um, ju I remember to sell those items. I don't. I could go further, but I don't want to because you know I just battled the rival and a gym leader, so figure might as well not. I'll probably have part eleven up tomorrow. Also, I got tagged by a good friend of mine, Pokelove. Or, as he now goes, Pokelove64. I'll have that up sometime, not sure. Probably within the next two days. By, um... Today's Wednesday. Probably be by Friday. Saturday the longest. And no, I'm not going to show my face. Not because I don't want to, because... But because I don't have any way to record, the only way I record is with the Visual Boy Advance. I don't have any camera or anything like that. And so just moving the items, because don't have anything better to do. And, um, basically, yeah. Weehoo. Also, actually, while well, I might as well do this, I might as well put in some random advertising, even though he has, like, a ton of subs. He's actually going to start doing a run-through on Pokemon Liquid Crystal. Yeah, basically, he saw some people play the game. He really liked it. Basically, uh, he asked me about help for that. I helped him with, like, the uploading the Visual Boy, uploading the ROM, the hack, all that. And then I told him that you could record with the Visual Boy, and he just got really excited, and so now he's going to do a run-through on that. See ya.